This is Campbell Earthwork in Glasgow's Queen Park and this is another uh, major nexus on Harry Bell's Glasgow network of aligned sites and you can see behind me it's uh, quite a large enclosure and it's technically classed as a ringwork because there is an earthwork rampart around it but the archaeology uh, is a little bit vague on uh, actually what it was used for and when it was constructed uh, some people think it was uh, used as a camp by Queen Mary's army before the Battle of Langside, which happened just over the other side of the hill behind me here. Um, others think it was a Roman camp. Uh, some others think it was a Neolithic settlement. Uh, it may well have been all of these things at one time or another. Certainly I know there's uh, some Roman uh, pottery has been found here, so certainly the Romans were here, but it's equally likely that it was used as a staging post for the army hence the name Camp Hill. But I always found it a very interesting site and when I was doing my geomancy training I came up here and picked this as my uh, sacred space. We had to uh, pick a space that we would work with and do some dowsing on and this was the site that I chose. What's of interest is that there are this uh, clump of stones at the top of the hill. I don't know if you can see it up there. And um, how these got here is a bit of a mystery. Again, some people say they were brought here as part of an 18th century uh, road building scheme. But, you know, you don't bring these stones up the hill without a good reason. They didn't get here by themselves. And I've always found them in a very interesting, from a dowsing point of view, because they do actually have uh, what we call a power centre within them. There's a, a rising water source. There are some energetic ley lines emanating from it. Uh, so for me, this has always been a bit of a sacred site. And there are some interesting outlying stones as well. Um, one of them is directly to the west, which would indicate an equinox uh, sunrise alignment, sunset alignment, sorry. And there's another one that seems to indicate the direction of the winter solstice sunset. Which is this one, this one just behind me here. This is the uh, direction of the winter solstice sunset. You can't really see it through the trees here, uh, but this is the best time of year to come since it is a, a nice sunny winter's day. It's an interesting sight. Uh, this ring of stones is used and abused by many people in typical Glasgow fashion. You know, there's evidence of campfires and uh, cans of lager and stuff lying about, littering the place. But still, it does have a, a definite feel to it. And uh, from here, you know, this being the, the high point in the, uh, in the Glasgow network, in the middle of Glasgow, you do get good views of uh, the Campsie Hills. Uh, you know, I can see Ben Lomond over beyond the, uh, the Queen Elizabeth Hospital over there. Um, there's direct lines to the cathedral you can see. Um, I can see something on the horizon over to Kyle Park and Cathkin Braes. Uh, in fact, Queen Mary is said to have watched the, the Battle of Langside uh, from Cathkin Braes, although it is a good few miles away, so it must have a very good eyesight. Um, and uh, up there there is a Queen Mary as well, which Harry uh, has uh, done a nice little drawing of in his, uh, in his book. So yeah, let's just uh, do a bit of dowsing and see what we can find. So okay, let's just try a bit of dowsing here. So I'm going to start by looking for uh, underground water flows. So we'll just see, uh, focusing on uh, looking for underground water flows from the stones here. And here's one here, which is going off through that tree down there. Just carry on around. So underground water flows, underground water flows, underground water flows. There's another one. It's going off that way. Underground water flows if I come through the middle here. Right, this is the, the rising water source, this is what we call a blind spring in dowsing terms. Where the rods will do this uh, sort of helicopter movement. There we go. Um, it is hard to sort of grasp what this site is like because there is just so much to it. Um, but you can just about see the, uh, the edge of the ringwork there, you can see the banks going round. So it is quite extensive. The flagpole site is technically, I suppose, the highest point, but uh, 
back in Neolithic times, of course, it would have just been one big hill fort, one big uh, hilltop, I guess, to site everything from. And here is a view from the flagpole, looking around the north of the city. You can see Dumgoyne at the end of the campuses on the left there. And as we move round, you can see over towards the cathedral and the straight road with no path. Uh, moving around from the still, we're looking over at Kyle Park in the east, where the two white dots are there. And as we pan right round to the east, towards Cathkin Braes, where Queen Mary is said to watch the Battle of Langside. You'll see the wind turbine on the skyline at the back there.